What defines an artist? Is it their ability to create, to challenge, to push boundaries? Paul Kostabi is an artist who has never allowed himself to be easily defined. For over 30 years, he's been a dominant force in the world of music and visual arts. And his incredible body of work continues to grow. Today, Paul Kostabi is known equally as a successful musician, record producer, and visual artist. His work is part of permanent collections of prestigious institutions like the Whitney Museum in New York, the Guggenheim, the Nassau County Museum of Art, Musillon in Bolzano, Italy, and the Museum of Contemporary Art Macro in Rome. Born in Whittier, California, Paul embraced the late 70s, early 80s punk rock scene. In my youth, I was in a band called Youth Gone Mad. And then in 1984, I started the band in my teenage years called White Zombie. So I was technically a teenage white zombie. He quickly found a home in the East Village art scene exhibiting his art across the city and playing with his band at iconic punk clubs like CBGB's. I've been in the East Village, uh, what is it, 30, since 1984, a long time. Drawing comparisons to his contemporaries like Andy Warhol and Jean-Michel Basquiat, and Cobra movement icons such as Karel Apple, Oscar Yorn, Pierre Alashinsky, and Enrico Bai. Paul forged his own path, dazzling audiences with his experimental approach to art. Most of my art is definitely, uh, there's a story. I do a lot of florals, which I call zombie floralism, for obvious reasons. I do the portraits, which means this, and those at first were really just portraits of people that I would see and get inspired by. And then I have another character called Sparkle. It's basically a stick man that's been fattened up and added appendages. His artwork acts as a culmination of several different styles seamlessly overlapping with each other. So when I make my art and my paintings, there's an attack, a release, and a threshold. And it's not necessarily always in that order. Sometimes I set a threshold. I say, okay, here's a minimal palette. So my threshold is pink and black. So in this case, there's a lot of pink, a lot of black. I add some yellow. So I attack the canvas in a spiritual way and sometimes in an existential way and then I release the canvas based on reaching my threshold. Art, ART, attack, release, threshold. His work can range from figurative expressionism to abstraction. His compositions never stop evolving. How do you know when a painting is finished? Well, you don't. To someone that's already seen the piece, they won't really recognize that there's been a difference, but all these, they're constantly being worked on. Since his artistic debut in New York during the 1980s, Paul Kostabi's career, both as a musician and as a visual artist, has continued to flourish. I really like to work with children in the context of art. Like, I've done uh, many classes, mostly in uh, Europe, where I'll be invited to do a project or something. So I'll teach them a thing, like, for example, the Sparkle character. I taught the kids how to do it, and then we'd have, like, a contest. Like, they'd all do a Sparkle and then we'd join in and everyone would do like a giant canvas. And it's just so nice to see these people do this. And then when I go back three years later, five years later, seven years later, and I'm like, wow, I really impacted their life. I just love that. An American original, Paul Kostabi continues to defy definition as he brings the vision and energy of punk rock to his unforgettable visual art. Let's go!